Senate of the United States in Mexico, there's more than 45 actions that have happened today to say no to Fast Track, no to new NAFTAs, and no to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm Carlene. Um, I work at Global Exchange. We're an international human rights organization. We've been helping coordinate this with a whole bunch of people. So I'm just so thrilled to see all of you out today, as well as a ton of new faces that I can't wait to work with you over the coming months while we stop and defeat the Trans-Pacific Partnership. So we're here today because we want our elected representatives up there, we want them to speak for us. We want them to say no to Fast Track, no to more new NAFTAs, and no to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Get your voices loud. It's a long way up there. Uh, so you're going to hear today a lot about how the Trans-Pacific Partnership is a secret so-called free trade agreement that has nothing to do with trade. It's an undemocratic agreement, yet it involves 12 countries. It's been negotiated behind closed doors with, impact, with input from 500 corporations, but no impact from the public. And we're also going to hear about the actions that we need to take to stop this agreement from happening. An agreement that we know would decrease access to affordable medicine, would import goods not met by U.S. safety standards, would roll back Wall Street regulations, and would offshore millions of good paying jobs. I'm going to ask our friend Victor Minotti to come up and talk about the 20 years of NAFTA that we've already experienced in the three countries, Canada, the U.S., and Mexico, and talk about the ravages of free trade. So, Victor? Where are you?